All right, what's up, Hawk Squad? Welcome back. So, yes, it's time for another Blake Boy recap. That's right, I got double recaps for Blake Boy. And this is actually his older ones. This is his Transformers Dr. the Moon recap, and it's called When Optimus Bone B Went on a Kill Streak of Decepticons. So, I have not checked this one out yet, but we're going to check it out right now. I know it's going to be so hilarious. This actually is actually pretty damn short. Um, Pretty damn short, about a good seven, eight minutes. So, Hawk Squad, let's check it out. So the Decepticons caught Bumblebee, Wheeljack, and Dino lacking. They got the three of them on the ground, keeping them as prisoners, making them hit the Kaepernick. And this <laughs> random, I forgot bro's name, isn't having any of it. I, I didn't remember Patrick Dempsey was in this too. We don't have a prison to keep them in where they could get their shit clapped for dropping the oil. Kill them. <laughs> and this is how I knew Soundwave was pussy, letting a human talk to him any Bitch type of way. Yes. Imagine a rat trying to boss right. you around. Old heads always hang on new. Brother sad. <laughs> um, I will choke slam your ass. Fuck you talking about right to me. Mm -hmm. To be fair, his ass do look like a bulldog anyways. I guess <laughs> he's just being an obedient good boy. <laughs> look at Will Jack's face, man. Poor dude knew it was tough for him. They didn't even give gang a good five minutes of screen time in this film. That's tough. Yeah. B, I think we're gonna get sent to visit Ironhide and Jazz. Bumble be looking at him like we nigga, who's <laughs> we? You French now? Poor guy started begging for his life. Listen, guys, let's just talk about it. S Soundwave, I know a dentist who could fix that ugly ass overbite, my nigga. He can get you right. You could finally start getting some bitches. Soundwave yes. not trying to hear any of it though. He gay anyways. Now if you had offered him the opportunity to bust down on your metal cheek. He might have let you live, gang. Hmm. They did Will Jack dirty. One yeah. shot for 150 damage to take off all his shield, and then a second shot sad, for man. Of damage to send him to a Tupac concert. It was good for him. Bumblebee looking to the sky like, please, <laughs> God, save me. Soundwave gonna go ahead and grab him by the back of the neck, talking about your mind. I believe this is now example 2000 of how Soundwave is first team all bitch, which is why Bumblebee isn't getting sent to the Gulag without letting him know that first. You know you only acted tough like this because y'all got me outnumbered like a Riley Reed video. <laughs> Call ISO and see how I do you. Go ahead. Get off me with your oily ass hands. This paint job premium. Y'all niggas can't relate. Sam can't bear to just sit there and watch this happen, so he's scrambling, trying to do something to help. And reject Megan Fox just letting him know, listen bro, there's nothing we could do. Bumble <laughs> he said reject mega fox <laughs> that's dirty as hell but um the actress um rosen hunterson whitley uh who played carly in this she actually is um i think she dated jesse statham and she was a mad mess free role she's actually better than this actually be is turned around to face sam and the two of them look heartbroken shit i know i was in it there they're heartbroken too <laughs> yeah. we had one hell of a run Sam is literally brought to tears and I feel him. That nigga know he can't afford another car. But out of nowhere, Bumblebee's prayers to God from before were answered. He must have been spectating and was like, yeah, we can't let these weak ass motherfuckers win. We gotta yes. help Bumblebee. So I thought, but it was actually just these two ugly cockroach transformers yeah. who were making the ship collapse by eating it. But it gave Bumblebee the distraction he needed. Bro didn't ask any questions or anything. Just put on the shysty and got straight to work. What was all that shit you was talking sound with? Yeah, I'm on you. Hit that man with a right into a spinning dragon kick straight to the face. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Soundwave cannot hit this man, chucking up bricks. Bumblebee returns fire, blasting him in the chest with a missile, sending him flying away. Bumblebee is on bro like white on rice, hopping over the car and jumping on Soundwave, using him as a launch pad in order to get over to this NPC ass Decepticon. Homie got that NBA 2K AI build. No type of VC been dumped into his customizations yet. Completely blows his brains out and then starts blasting Soundwave with two shots. Sam is just just sitting back watching Bumblebee work and he's like, oh, this nigga is crazy. <laughs> Bumblebee sends a couple shots, weave into another spinning kick. Sally has gotta have CTE at this point, definitely developing a speech impediment. How many headshots can he take? To the point where he's just like, man, fuck this, and grabs B, throwing him. But that was the worst mistake he could have made. Peep the high IQ from B here. He got that LeBron James court vision. He shoots off Soundwave's foot so that he loses balance. Takes the gut punch like a champ. I eat those. That's baby food. And blasts him from the inside, absolutely Boom. destroying him and tossing him away like a piece of trash afterwards. That was sick. And you already know he had to turn around and take off the shysty to make sure any of the bad hoes saw that. But it listen, is. Optimus Prime was on time in two. Goku and Vegeta. Bumblebee and Optimus, Rodwave and being hungry, straight <laughs> dynamic duos. So Shockwave was over here just terrorizing these humans. And he's just straight Ooh. drilling into this building trying to kill Sam and his homies. I'm just here to let y'all know that ain't his tail, bro. Joe ain't. 
Huh? <laughs> but Optimus what knows it? he cannot let this happen, so he decides to slide for Gang. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of feel bad because I know this shit hurts. He just starts blasting the hell out of Shockwave's meat. Throughout all of this meat. too, I'm just thinking to myself, dog, how is this building not completely incinerated yet? Blast two holes through the building so that he could fit through and cuts the tip off. Brody gonna be pissing through his asshole, that's tough, my boy. But <laughs> Optimus must have not read the training manual for the jetpack because rare yeah, Optimus O, rare <laughs> Optimus <laughs> sped moment, he gets tangled up in some wires and now it's up to the humans to try to stop shockwave themselves they out here trying to blindfold him to defeat him this is bad work bro bad eat straight burger king luckily <laughs> optimus <laughs> manages to get cut out and he's like bet i'm on y'all wasting no time he pulls up to the fight and honestly bro i don't even know why ratchet is here he has no feats gun to the back of your head name five ratchet moments he has a whopping zero kills in three movies he just be out there running putting up tony snell numbers blast the side character with the Rocket and then hits these niggas with the most unnecessary spin move of all time. I gotta admit, this is actually one of Optimus Prime's badass moments in the entire live action Transformers movies. Shish kebabs this NPC body slamming him and bro is just cooking right yeah. now. One shots this dude just by smacking the shit out of him in the back of the head with a gun. Blast this AI, bro never stood a chance, he got shredded mad fast. This is like a five kill streak, Optimus by calling his UAV real soon. Slashes this dude's legs, turning his ass into Rohan Murphy. Damn. And then goes for the three feet, no Shaq and Kobe, just straight violating these Decepticons. And he finally caught up to Shockwave, ain't no running you could do now, boy. Hmm. Hops over the missile, he shoots at him, as the humans send a double team shooting Shockwave in the chest. And I'm not gonna lie, bro looking rough. He got one knee on the ground, one hand on the ground, eye dang out his face this nigga going through it hmm. optimus spams the spin move one last time whipping out the brass knuckles and this right here was a violation yeah. homie punches out oh. half of his belly Ooh, decks him with the left grabs him by the throat on some kinky shit and body slams him on his knee and pulls out his voice box. Yep, if Shockwave had survived this, he would have been a mute, straight <clears throat> Helen Keller. Uses his Damn. gun against him, shooting out the pillar that Sentinel is at so that they can't bring their crib here. <laughs> All right, that was awesome. But yeah, man, that that entire um entire combat with Optimus was was um pulling up, flying man. That that was one of his baddest moments in the entire franchise, the um, entire Bay Bay um Transformers franchise. And yeah, man, it's it's been a while since I've seen Doctor Moon. It's been a while. So yeah, this makes me want to see Doctor Moon again. And yeah, W recap, Blake Boy W recap. But yeah, this is older ones. But like I said, yeah, I haven't got a chance to see it. But yeah, this was a latest recap. Pretty short too, but. Least worth every second. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Blade Boy's recap of Transformers Dark the Moon. So, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button, comment, share your thoughts. What's your favorite Transformers movie? Obviously, my favorite is going to be the first live action one. I mean, the first one back in 2007. Still, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. And yeah, basically, that's the only one I rewatch a lot, at least every year or so. Sometimes sequels are really the first one I watch a lot. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned because I have. My Meat Canyon, that's right, baby. I'm back with Meat Canyon, react to one of his vids. This is going to be his queso um, vid, so I'm excited to see that. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.